12 white rappers that are about that life. Max the Demon Max the Demon is a white drill rapper from Brooklyn. He started to gain attention in 2019 with his breakout track, Four Quarters, and has built a decent buzz in New York with other songs like Speak On It and The Godfather, racking up over a million views on YouTube and Spotify. Little is known about Max's backstory, but like most drill rappers, he makes many references to selling drugs and shooting at enemies in his music. Max is rumored to be a member of the Insane Baby Crips and can be seen wearing blue and repping blue bandanas in his music video. There's a rumor circulating on the internet that Max's father was a Russian immigrant who is currently in jail. However, this is unproven. In an interview with Mel's TV, Max's associates vouched for his street cred and claim that he's really about that life. Nah, they, yeah, he got love, he got yeah, love, but like, like, it's so like, for me, you know he is skin color, so he needs to be like, uh, there's a few, there's a few people that talk shit, but mm -hmm. nobody's, you know, the, the, the support right, right, is right. back. What's the name Michael Myers from reading? But the interview doesn't go too deep, so either Max is really about it, or he has serious people around him who are. Morrison. Morrison is a white drill rapper from the UK. He grew up in London's East End and started releasing music in 2008. However, he spent some time in jail on drug charges not long after and didn't make a full return to the rap scene until 2017. Morrison has claimed his inconsistency with the music was due to his preoccupation with the street activity that was paying his bills. Well, what, what, what happens, what I, what I do on the road to pay my bills and whatever, it isn't music. Music doesn't pay my bills up until now. The East End of London is known to be a rough area, and growing up, Morrison claims that being white made him a minority in his own neighborhood. Yet, despite his check past, now that his music is blowing up, he's 100% focused on building a legal career. But despite his decision to change his ways, he's still one of the most respected white rappers in the UK. GMEBE Bands. GMEBE Bands was a white drill rapper from Chicago, Illinois, who was tragically murdered in 2019. Bands started gaining attention in 2015 after doing a Vlad TV interview where he talks about his association with the Black Peace Stones, a major gang in Chicago. He was originally part of the GMEBE Collective, but left in 2017 to pursue a solo career. He dropped the solo track, Really Had Much, that same year, which earned him a decent buzz in the city. In 2019, he was found dead in a wooded area in Winnebago County after being beaten to death and set on fire. He had been missing for a few weeks prior after what police thought was a home invasion. Two men were arrested for the killing. The case is still ongoing and it's not entirely clear what happened. But according to sources close to the rapper, the men who allegedly committed the murder were close to him and at one point considered friends. Curb Lagoop Curb Lagoop is a SoundCloud rapper from Saratosa, Florida best known for a strange blend of high-pitched auto-tune rap and collaborations with other high-profile SoundCloud rappers like Lil Pete and Lil Tracy. Curb started as a chopped and screwed DJ and was inspired by New Orleans rappers like Juvenile and The Hot Boy. He started taking music seriously when he was released from prison in 2012 and created a bizarre, nasally rap style that fans either love or hate. He's frequently seen holding large guns and rapping about selling drugs in his music. In an interview with underground rap blog Bombay Knox, Curb says that he turned to music as an outlet after being released from prison because it was the only path in life he saw for himself. So despite his strange delivery, Curb Lagoop is really about that life. Popek Popek is a Polish rapper and professional MMA fighter. He's a big star in Poland who was known for his extreme behavior like getting his eyeballs tattooed or being hung from hooks in music videos. He dropped out of school at age 14 and left home for Germany. He was one of the founding members of the first Polish gangster rap crew, Firma, and started his solo career in 2007. He became a superstar in Poland and has done collaborations with US artists like Stitches and The Game. In an interview with Noisy, Popek describes some of the wildest things he's done in his life, like putting nine tabs of LSD in his mouth and two others in his eyeballs, which put him in a coma for six months or intentionally scarring his face. Popek is an extreme character who knows no limits and possibly the craziest white rapper on the planet. Killian Killian is a white drill rapper originally from Ireland but based in London. Despite looking more like a character from Harry Potter, Killian claims that he came up in the grimy streets of London and makes the music that describes the culture he's a part of. In an interview with the Donegal News, an Irish newspaper, Killian claims that he's had numerous friends die from stabbings who were involved in street activity. He also performed under the moniker SD where he performs in a mask and raps about being involved in stabbings and other acts of violence. Whether he's really about that life or just doing it for the marketing is tough to tell. 
but he does seem to be surrounded by serious people who vouch for his credibility. Big Body Bez Big Body Bez is less of a rapper and more of a rap personality. He's best known for his association with rapper Action Bronson and his numerous appearances on Vice and other media outlets. Body was born in the Bronx to Albanian parents. He was a troublemaker from a young age and went to a juvenile detention center at just 12 years old. He was in and out of prison for most of his teenage years and early adult life until he started getting recognition for his spoken word interludes on Action Bronson's tracks. Body is an undeniable character who has a way with words. He often talks about New York City street culture and the struggles he's been through in life with a charisma and unique sense of humor. Plus, he's one of the most beloved figures in hip hop who has never even dropped a single. Paul Wall Paul Wall is a rapper from Houston, Texas, known for his signature grills and his association with Swisher House Records. He became a staple on Houston radio in the late 90s and early 2000s and is known for being a colorful character in hip hop. Paul Wall is more known for rapping about Texas culture like candy painted cars, blunts, and lean than being a hardcore street rapper and has always been one of the most respected white artists in hip hop. But in 2016, he and fellow Houston rapper Baby Bash were arrested on felony drug charges for possession of marijuana with intent to distribute. This morning, the judge found probable cause to charge the two rappers, saying they were engaging in organized criminal activity. A grand jury later declined to press charges against the rappers when it was revealed that the marijuana was for personal use and was not part of a drug trafficking operation. Local rappers Paul Wall and Baby Bash will not face charges in connection to a drug raid from last year. A Harris County grand jury declined to indict the two men today. But that doesn't change the fact that Paul Wall is one of the realest white rappers to emerge from the Lone Star State. Lil White Lil White is a rapper from Memphis, known for his association with 3-6 Mafia, as well as his own solo career. Lil White started rapping in high school and eventually dropped out to pursue music. He was part of a local rap group called Shelby Forest Click that would pass out mixtapes in Memphis. Their tape caught the attention of Juicy J and DJ Paul, who signed the artist to their label in the early 2000s. Lil White has rapped at length about his struggles with addiction and surviving in the street. In 2012, the artist was arrested and charged with driving under the influence and drug possession after police spotted him swerving back and forth, but he has since turned his past into a legal business and created his own strain of medical cannabis called OG White Kush that is now available in 11 states. Slow Tie Slow Tie is a British grime artist from Northampton, London. He is of mixed race and his mother is half Irish and half Barbadian. He was raised by a teenage single mother in a council estate, the British form of public housing, in the Lings area of Northampton. As a kid, Slow Tie's mother struggled to put food on the table. The artist didn't have much interest in school. He would skip class so much, his mother would get in trouble, and without any other options to make money, he turned to drug dealing to support himself. Ketamine's a horse tranquilizer. Yeah, well, that's how I originally started or where I heard it from first, you know what I mean? Then feeling hoarse, it's like when you've been out and you're mashed and you've, uh, uh, you're talking like this, uh, you right, mate. He has referenced his criminal past in many of his songs, specifically the track Drug Dealer off his debut album, Nothing Great About Britain. In the song, he recalls telling his teacher that he was going to grow up to become a drug dealer because there wasn't much else to do in the small city of Northampton. Millie's. Millie's is a rapper from Boston, Massachusetts. Born and raised in the Cambridge neighborhood, Millie's recalls there being a stark contrast between the university life of MIT and Harvard and the hard knock neighborhood he grew up in. He says the area where he came up was full of dealers and fiends, not professors and students. His parents broke up when he was five, and as a kid, he had several run-ins with the law. After his friend and collaborator, Rock Ducati, was shot and killed, he decided to take his music more seriously and change his path in life. In 2016, he was featured in a cypher at the BET Hip Hop Awards and has gone on to collaborate with legendary East Coast artists like Styles P and Jim Jones. Gutta 100 Gutta 100 is a new artist from South Florida. Not much is known about his background or personal life, but he's been releasing tracks for the past few years and has racked up millions of plays on songs like We Paid Remix and No Hook. He talks about street life in his music and can be seen sporting guns and cash in many of his videos. He posted a gun of his prison mugshot to IG with the caption, the difference between me and these other guys is I don't cap in my raps. From trap to rap, the album on the way, in an attempt to prove his credibility. His music certainly sounds authentic, but only time will tell if Gutter 100 will blow up and be a big star or end up trapped in the street. 